Hello there, my name is Kelly Murray. I am a certified pediatric and adult sleep consultant and the owner of Kelly Murray Sleep Consulting. And today I'm here to talk to you about how your sleep affects your weight. So I don't know about you, but whenever I have a bad night's sleep, the very next day I am ravenous. I wanna eat all the food and typically the food that I wanna eat is not the healthiest. Hello, venti caramel macchiato, which is my go-to when I'm sleepy. So if you feel the same way and you've ever wondered why, today I'm gonna to explain what is happening. So basically when we're sleep deprived, our body thinks that there must be some sort of danger. Why would we not be sleeping if we're tired? It's not natural for humans to be sleep deprived. So what happens is our body wants to increase our hunger so that we'll load up on calories so that we can flee the scene. So on a hormonal basis, our body does this by increasing the ghrelin, which is the hormone that um, stimulates hunger and decreases the amount of leptin, which is the hormone that tells us that we're satiated. So then as a result, we have an increased appetite. Research also shows that when we're sleep deprived, we tend to gravitate to unhealthy foods. So foods that are energy dense, such as foods high in sugar, fat, and carbohydrates, which can lead to weight gain. Also, an MRI study of the brain shows that when we're sleep deprived, our brain reacts more favorably to unhealthy foods. How about that? <laughs> and then to top it all off, when we're sleep deprived, it impacts our metabolism and slows our metabolism down so that we don't process our food as efficiently. And research tells us that sleep deprivation leads to both weight gain and obesity in not only adults, but also in children. One study of 68,000 nurses over the span of 16 years found that the nurses who slept less than five hours on average per night gained 30 more pounds over the course of the study when compared to the nurses who slept more than seven hours per night. Also, we know that 50% of adults with sleep apnea are overweight. That's because the excess fat tissue in their throat tends to close their throat when they're laying flat and sleeping and leads to apnea episodes. And like I mentioned, this doesn't just pertain to adults, but also children. Research tells us that infants that sleep less than two or 12 hours per night, they're twice as likely to be obese by three. Also three-year-olds that sleep less than 10 and a half hours per night are 45% more likely to be obese as adolescents. Unfortunately, obesity is all too common in America. 34% of adults in the US are obese. 20% of children ages 12 to 19 are obese and 18% of children six to 11 are obese. I'm sure you know that um, being obese is bad for your health. Obesity leads to an increased risk of high blood pressure, type two diabetes, coronary heart disease, stroke, me mental illness such as depression and anxiety, an increase of body pain, and just difficulty with physical activities. So if you're working on controlling your weight, I would urge you to first improve your sleep. If you need some tips, you can visit my blogs. I have a ton of great resources. Or if you're interested in working with someone one-on-one, -on -one, I would love to help. You can schedule a free 15-minute discovery call on my website, Kelly Murray Sleep.